Do you use Google's workspace and want to streamline your process? Well, let me show you how to open JotForms Form Builder from within your workspace. Hey there, I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Google Drive account. And if you want to streamline your work process, like I mentioned, you can easily add JotForms Form Builder within your Google Workspace. So it really is straightforward to do. To do it, we're gonna to head to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna click on New, head down to More, and let's go to Connect More Apps. Next, I'm gonna use the search function and we'll do a quick search for JotForm. Then we'll use this very first one, the Form Builder by JotForm. And before we install, we can definitely take a quick scroll to have an overview of this app and some additional information about JotForm. And keep in mind, if you are brand new to JotForm, JotForm does have a free account. So I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the top. We'll go ahead and install. Now it's going to pull the email account that is currently being utilized by the Google Workspace account that you are in. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that account. And here it's saying, to sign in to Form Builder by JotForm. If you have not already created a JotForm account, I would highly suggest you go ahead and do that now. I am already set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose to continue. And yes, I want to allow access. Scroll down to the bottom and continue. And we are good to go. Now we had two pop-ups that came up. The first one says, make Form Builder by JotForm the default app for files it can open. Go ahead and leave that checked, okay? Then just letting us know that you can access this from two different places. The first one's gonna be in the top right-hand corner from the app's launcher icon. And then second, we can do it by open with in Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose done. We can X out of this because we are officially installed and let's give this a test. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top left-hand corner. I'm gonna click on new. We're gonna head back to more and we can now see that the form builder by JotForm is now here. Now, again, we can also access it from right over here. Now, if I scroll down, we can see that we have the form builder by JotForm right here. So let's go ahead and head back. I'm gonna do new, more, form builder by JotForm. We're gonna choose the account that we created it with and confirming that we do want to sign into that form builder. And we can see here that it was creating a brand new form for us. Now from here, it really is drag and drop simple as to what you would like to add to your form. So over on the left-hand side, we can choose to add a form element. And from here, we can add name, email, address, anything that you would like. We can scroll down and we can see that we have multiple choice. We have a file upload option and we even have a sign option as well. Now, if we head up to the top, we also have different payment integrations. So if you would like to collect payments from your users, you can do that as well. And then we also have some more advanced widgets that you can add to make your form even more special. Now, if you'd like to make this form your own and fit you and your brand in the top right hand corner, we can click on the form designer and we can change the overall color. We can even change the background to be an image. But if you want, we can come up here, we can change the overall feel and from down here maybe we want this to be a little bit of a darker teal we can do that we can play with the different styles the question spacing if you want to change the font you can do that here right now we're currently in the default theme but if you want to change it to something completely different you have access to do that here or if you change your mind you can always come back here and put it back on the default and if you would like to change your form from the classic form which is all the questions on one form to our card format which is one question per screen you can do that as well now if I head up to the top, we're gonna to click on publish to share this form. First, we wanna make sure that it is enabled so people can access it. And then from here, we can copy this link and send it through the appropriate channels, or we can invite people to fill it out through email. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions on how to add or access the form builder by JotForm in your Google workspace, let us know down below. I'll see you next time.